Well, it was a, it was a great win for us. Uh, shorthand a little bit with the one of our players out, but uh, but uh, we tried a, diff- a lot of different lineups tonight. We went big, we went small in between, and we uh, just made some plays when we had to. It was very impressive uh, with some of these guys. Kobe Johnson played one of the best games I've ever seen a Trojan play with his effort. He has a sprained ankle as well, but he knew he had to play because Reese was out and Josh was out. And to have 21 points on seven shots, five assists, four steals, no turnovers, and to make those big plays defensively and offensively was really impressive. Coach's decision on Reese today was that a lingering effect from the fall he took last week. Reese? Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that fall he had in the game though, and it was pretty, pretty bad. And I. Uh, is an injury, and uh, we're hoping uh, with uh, a week off, or actually not a week, but five days, six days, uh, that he'll be able to go and we hit the road. Is there any timetable for him and Josh? Josh, no timetable. Reese, uh, we're hoping that uh, uh, we, yeah, Josh had a pretty bad ankle sprain too. So I think it's going to be uh, day to day. I think if we had to play a game tomorrow, neither one of them would play tomorrow. But we're hoping by Thursday and Saturday next week, uh, at least one of them will be available. Seeing you there, it seemed like there were times you missed Josh's defense out there. How did you feel like the front court did? Um, well, Josh is one of the best defensive bigs in the country. You know, he's a fourth-year player. He's, he's experienced. He redshirted one year, or kind of a redshirt in our Elite Eight year. Uh, but he, uh, when you lose one of the best defensive bigs with all that game experience, and Vince, Vince is learning. You know, He's not nearly as good defensively as Josh is. Uh, he has the potential to be. He just has to, to figure it out. Uh, but, uh, and then we miss Reese. We miss Reese's uh, toughness and his uh, offensive ability. Uh, Andy, um, talk about uh, uh, Harry's play tonight and why you decided to go with him as long as you did. Well, Harry, uh, he, he's an extremely smart basketball player on both sides of the ball. He knows he's not the best athlete, so he plays position basketball. He had a huge two defensive plays down the last couple of minutes. The one where he stepped in when he drove it, made him shoot over and he missed. And then he got that steal. And then offensively, he has good touch around the basket. He can make, make shots. And he's also a very good passer. He has a really good feel for the game. Uh, he, uh, I thought he played very hard and, and uh, had five rebounds and um, uh, had that big steal. So, so that's the type of effort you need off the bench when, when you have some guys out. Can you talk about Trey White's maturity in this performance? Well, maturity, uh, when you try to dunk on someone again with up seven with 45 seconds left, I'm not so sure he's that mature yet. He's a, he's a freshman, but I think he is learning, and I hope that doesn't happen again. It's happened twice now in the last four games, so uh, uh, he's sitting back there. That's why I'm getting on him, but he, uh, he played a great game tonight. He was very aggressive offensively. He's, we work on those floaters every day. He made a couple big floaters. He's driving the ball. He's passing. He had eight, four assists with his 22 points. He re, had eight rebounds, three offensive. He huge. We ran that play out of a timeout. Got Boogie wide open, three in the corner. And, and Boogie couldn't make a shot tonight. And then Trey, Trey came up on the other side and tipped the ball in. That put us back up five. It was a huge play uh, because we have to, when we're not shooting the ball well, we go four for 22 from the three point line. You need to manufacture some points sometimes off your defense or offensive rebounding. And Trey was really good at free offensive boards. So I thought this was one of his best games, probably his best game, uh, because under the circumstances, we need every one of those points and rebounds he gave us tonight. What was the biggest area of growth you've seen in him this season, Trey? Well, he's he, he's lo- shooting less step backs and letting the defense off the hook. I thought against uh, Washington State, we ran some actions for him and he drove in the middle and elevated and shot over people and just put that, put the pressure, very quick first step. And his biggest uh, weakness on offense was he liked to play laterally instead of attacking vertically towards the basket. And now he's doing a much better job of that. There's, there's, t- there's a time and place for step backs and, and, uh, and, and shots, but step back threes are hard because your body's going the wrong direction and uh, it's a very difficult shot. So he's playing a much better, uh, he's much more efficient right now and he's very hard to guard if he gets that first step on you. As you're experimenting with those. First, and secondly, he, he, didn't, had no, he didn't know how to play defense when he showed up here, so he, he actually is a decent defender. Huh? <laughs> As you're experimenting with lineups, how did you have to adjust to maybe help with the defense in the front court, especially after it started? Well, it was tough. They, they, Mia, Mia had foul trouble, and they really only had one big, and, or the big they played anyway. So 
both teams had five guards and forwards out there. To me, it looked like an AU game at times, a uh, pickup game. And uh, it was like, what team is going to go in and make some shots and, and get those crucial stops down the stretch to win it? And uh, that's what happened. But uh, we, we played a lot of different lineups, and, and uh, so did they. So it was a very unusual game to coach. Uh, we just went with our feel of uh, uh, who was um, uh, Harry, played 19 minutes, and, and then. Uh, he, and Malik Thomas, I thought, gave us really good effort. He played very hard. It's his birthday today, and he, he played really hard and played tough. Talking about Mia's foul trouble, they were incredibly successful in the pick and roll in the first half. Was uh, driving the ball at him to get him in foul trouble intentional, or is that just coincidence? Well, we try to put pressure on the defense. They played the zone. When they're doing their starting zone, they would match up and play man rest possession. So it's an unusual defense. Uh, but we have good, smart players. We just kept we, – we started missing open shots, which, which was frustrating. And, uh, but we were aggressive the entire game and put pressure on the defense. So I wouldn't say it was intentionally to get him because he's a very good defender at the rim. He's seven feet tall. Uh, so it's not necessarily we want to just leave our feet and challenge him to try to draw a foul. And we just want to make a smart basketball play and let, let the natural progression happen. Andy, how unusual is it to win a game where you're up seven at the half and the other team makes 60% of their shots in the second half, 80% of their threes, and 100% from the line? <laughs> And, and you basically, uh, well, you win by six. I mean, that seems unusual. Uh, well, we won the, uh, the turnover battle and the offensive rebounding, and uh, we shot 86% from the foul line. So uh, you're not, you, you are not going to play your best game. Uh, Boogie and Drew to go eight for 28 and two for 14 from the three-point line between them. They were both four for 14, one for seven. Now, to their credit, they had 13 assists. And, and, and Drew had 10 rebounds, which is really good. Uh, but for us to be able to win a league game uh, with those, both those guys having off nights on the offensive end, uh, it, we, we feel very happy about that. That means our other guys have stepped up and, and came to play, and they did a great job. What do you feel is really allowed Kobe to uh, take the leap he has from last year and unlock his full game? The so what? What's allowed Kobe to take the leap he has from last year? Well, he's a sophomore. A lot of guys make big jumps between their freshman and sophomore year. They figure it out. You know, and and I'm, all freshmen get mad when you don't play big minutes. Kobe thought he should have been starting playing 35 minutes last year. He just wasn't as good as our guys. And uh, now he is. So I play our best players. And they all get mad at me when they don't play. You know, and that's, that's the, the part as a head coach. But he just wasn't good enough last year to play that big minutes. He, he helped us in, in spots. He's a very good defender. And he was, but he was young and inexperienced. And, Curtis Schultz has done a great job with him in the weight room, our strength coach, and now he looks like a darn all-league player. He played like that uh, uh, the entire game tonight. So, so that's what we expect out of our players, to improve, uh, and get in the weight room, uh, work on your skills, and, and uh, become a, a basketball player. And, and so we give him all the opportunity in the world to do that, and uh, happy to say that he's arrived. After the last game, you said he was your designated three-point shooter. Did he solidify that tonight? Well, those two threes he made were huge, and he made a big one the other night. So when he shot the, the first one he made tonight, I was thinking, hey, that's the same place he made one the other night. Sure enough, it went in, and he made one out top. So, uh, you know, he, uh, he's really improved his shooting. He's our best free throw shooter right now. He's nine for nine, shooting at 86% on the year. And so, so to see his growth as a player, especially with the, the confidence and the, and the technique, uh, is very impressive. I felt like that sitting there a slot were getting pushed around what do you want them to take out of this performance as they try to, you know, fill in for Josh however long he's out? Well, well, to be a great post defender, it's not about pushing and shoving match. That's the first thing we're going to show them. And you, you don't, you, you have to use your feet and stay off their body. If you, if you're, if you stay on their body the whole time, then they're going to be able to just duck you in and, and push you around. But if you get off their body and then back on their body and off, and you, and you use your quickness, Vince, Vince and Joseph have good feet, both of them. So. You just can't get in a wrestling match every time down the court. And, and uh, they have to learn to uh, do a little better job. And then when, when someone does get the ball, you have to get more resistance. So they just can't back you down and lay the ball in. And, uh, but that's on our guards. Uh, we, we, we could have helped out a little t uh, One time when Mia got the ball and laid, laid it on Vince, our guard was supposed to dig down and go get it, but he didn't. Last one in the back. Andy, can you talk a little bit about getting your 200th victory as a Jordan head coach, especially on one court? No, uh, but that's. Uh, uh, milestone that I didn't even know until I uh, was reminded uh, yesterday about it. But it's, it's uh, you know personal milestones are nice, but you know, we're in, we're in this for the uh, program. That just means uh, we've had stability here uh, over the last ten years with our coaching staff. I'm very proud of our assistant coaches and everybody that 
work so hard to give us a chance to win on a, on a daily and weekly basis. And our players, I've had a lot of good players here as a head coach. And uh, we've recruited players, they've developed, and, and they've been very successful uh, moving on either in the NBA or, or, or on in life. Some guys are overseas playing basketball. So uh, to, to have 200 wins at one school is, is uh, you know, we're very proud of that stability, but this is something that I share with our players and our staff. Because when I think of that, I just think of all the great people we've had here at USC. And so uh, hopefully there's many more, but uh, Certainly proud of what we've done here.